Hello guys, welcome back to Draw Universe. This is Geronimo, and today we are going to make step by step this uh, awesome window shutter, uh, window blind, uh, sunshade, you name it. And we are going to our little voxel library and going to select the one by one by two. Uh, if you don't have it or you're not sure you have it, uh, very easy. Use the deploy tool, press E twice, and create a one by one by two uh, triangle like this. Copy it on the side of itself and paste it. So here we go with a one by one by two. Make a checkerboard out of it. Mine is already ready. So you just need a 4 by 7 checkerboard. Pull out your pinch tool. And the pinch tool, we're going to use the size number 4, starting from the small one, 2, 3, 4. Going to pinch twice here in the middle of 4 voxels. And another time twice middle of four voxels here. Then we're going to increase the size of one, so we're size number five, and we're going to pinch twice here at this location, twice. And you can see we are having here a perfect uh, little slab uh, center. Uh, align aligned with the with the voxel border so this is the, the one we're looking for and we're looking for another one which will be well let's first select it take it out all right uh, I will orient it like this copy it twice And take any voxel on the ground and print what you get. You can print it here if you want. You can print it directly on it. And you print it in what we want. We want this one. Oh, like this. And this one, we're going to rotate it. Uh, 180 degree. So press R and roll twice. I guess that's what I've done. And past it, yeah, here at this location. Now we're going to get our box out of it. So am I good? Yes, it should be here. And here we get the offset blade. Nope. So same principle as the densify grid we did like uh, last time. We're using offset, uh, an offset uh, voxel shape. So we can stack them on top of each other without them mixing with each other. So. Let's put one on the side and mark uh, mark mark its center. Okay, its center is here, so we want to go to I'll do a wood one. So it will be easier to grab and manipulate it. Alright. And then I can copy past. Uh, what do I do for the other side? I rotate and I do, I press once R, not on the surface, on this one. Yes. So I press R for the symmetry. Then I got perfectly 
the blade on top of each other. Repeat. Don't need to go further, that's enough. So here we go. How do we frame it? Uh, how did I frame it? So there are different ways of framing it. You have to be careful when you put voxels on the side because they they will they will get stretched it all the way and they will lose their shapes and. Uh, it's not looking uh, looking good at all, right? Uh, and if you put one here on the front, it's uh, be the same. It's possible. So if you, you want to cover the hole that it does, it's one solution. So it creates a slope, but it's not. My favorite solution. I have, uh, you can use uh, you can use this box over here. Then you come past on the side and since it's very thin uh, you won't you won't notice the deformations no I'm doing something wrong well, I should do it that way Yes. Okay, you have this. And then then you can copy but you have to offset to, to put it at this this location. And then you can copy and it will I will come in just perfectly and do not create any deformations. So the black one here you just make it white or red or whatever color you want. Let's make something more delicate than just that. If you just want to slot into into a wall, that's a good solution, yes. Uh, but for example something like this and something like this so inside this face is the black one and then I pushed another voxel and this will be easy well, actually we can do that uh, so what we want We want an, another voxel, one of them, that will help us push this face. So a voxel that will push, let's say, uh, one and a half. Well, let's try. Let's try with the big one. Yeah, that's perfect. So I hold shift. And I got a more elegant, uh, but I got a more elegant frame for these windows. Just depend on the way you want uh, you want to use it. 
if you just want to make a canopy with a little wooden structure as I made uh, this is something quite delicate and that matches very well the shutters uh, be careful when you use it don't put voxels too close because they will deform pretty easily and always remember that its thickness the total thickness is 3 so it's from here 1, 2, 3 and uh, you will be good alright so that was a very fast video I believe uh, uh, next time next time next time I discovered uh, new ways of extracting those and you can see I have more than before I did work a little bit on it uh, I have more than before I heard from a friend that we could get until 42 of them per line which is an uh, enormous number we don't need that much but I found a way to get more of those that I had too few in my opinion and I'm very happy so I'm going to share that uh, in my next video and uh, also I uh, will be talking about how to use them uh, how they uh, how they are without pitching anything how to combine them and uh, make different shapes just 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 with them all right so uh, thank you for watching until then guys fly safe